Okay guys, um, this video is going to be a pack with me. We're going to Florida! Well, I'm going. Y'all can show up if you want to. Um, I'm going to Florida tomorrow and I have to pack. I'm such a late packer. I'm also an overpacker. So you'll see probably a lot. A lot more than anyone that's normal would need. We're gonna start with my makeup because a lot of people wanted to see that. And then we'll move into clothing and stuff. So let's get moving. Okay guys, we're gonna start with the makeup I'm gonna take. <laughs> this is my little, oh my gosh, my nails, they just came off. I'm gonna redo them, it's a sign. Um, okay, so this is my little travel case that I have. Um, I got it for Christmas, but it's from Target. And it zips on two sides. So one side opens up, there's a pocket right here, and then there's two detachable clear pockets. There's stuff in there that I'm gonna go through. Then on the other side ooh, is a big clear zippered pocket, um, a pocket with like a flap over it so you can put brushes there if you want to, and then another zippered pocket. Holy cow, I have a lot of stuff in here. I didn't even realize. Okay, so we are gonna start at the very beginning. Okay, so after skincare, of course, is primers and foundations. For primers, I am bringing, well, this is primers and setting sprays. So I have, I have very dry skin because of Michigan, I'm convinced. So I have this Laura Geller Spackle Hydrating Moisturizing Under Makeup Primer. It's good. Honestly, I don't notice a huge difference with primers just in general, so whatever. Um, I have the Scandinavia um, Makeup Primer Spray. Hello. Um, Scandinavia does deals all the time on their their sprays so what I did was I ordered two of the big sizes and I got two of the travel ones for free so I just refilled them um, so this is the makeup primer spray for I think it's for dry skin and then this is the uh, bridal makeup finishing spray for dry skin <clears throat> um, and then I also have this redness uh, correcting primer from Pure Minerals. Um, I've had, oh, where's the cap? Here it is. Um, I've had it for a really long time and I just started using it again. So that I usually just put in the center of my face where the redness is the worst. And then I also have the NYX Dewy Finish setting spray. I just got this and I've used it like two or three times so I haven't really uh, noticed the effects yet but We'll see, I'm bringing it. I probably won't need it because let's be honest, Florida is dewy on its own. Um, okay, and then, oh, I'm also bringing this little bottle of maracuja oil because, I don't know, it's tiny and sometimes it helps um, in like matte foundations to, for dry skin people. So if your skin is dry, and you really want to use a matte or a satin foundation and it's still looking dry on your skin, mix in a drop of maracuja oil and it should, with the foundation before you put it on your face, and it should solve the problem. So I bring that just because it's nice to have. Okay, the four foundations I'm bringing, <laughs> um, mainly because I these are the most recent ones I've purchased and I want to see how they work in Florida weather. What is up with my camera right now? Okay, I'm bringing the IT Cosmetics CC Plus Cream, or CC Cream. It is um, SPF 50 and it is the physical sunscreen, not chemical. I am allergic to chemical sunscreen. My face breaks out into little tiny white bumps, so I avoid it at all costs. This is the super size size. Um, I got it at QVC, of course. But I really like it. It's just, um, I don't know. It, if I put too much of it on, it can sometimes look dry. But that's, again, in Michigan. So I'm wondering what it will look like in Florida 
with uh, more humidity. I'm bringing my re most recent purchase, which is the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea um, Water Foundation. It is a water serum foundation. So it also has SPF uh, 15 sunscreen. I don't know if it's chemical or physical. I think it's physical. Um, so yeah, I wanted to see how this works in Florida. I mean, that's the same for everything. Hello. Um, I literally don't get why this is not focusing well. Uh, the other one I want to try is the Clinique Beyond Perfecting Foundation and Concealer. I really like this. I just think it's too dry for winter for me. Or my face is, yeah, my face is too dry in winter to use this. So it's not, I don't think it's living up to its potential right now, but that's not its fault. <laughs> it's it's weather's fault. So we'll see what, how it likes Florida. And then my last one is also one of my more recent purchases. It's the Lorac Sheer Porefection Foundation. Um, this does not have SPF in it. And it's, I bought it because it's, sheer it's it's you can layer it and um I feel like that's good for the Michigan dry weather so we'll test it out in a different climate okay so I'm gonna pack this up and then we'll move along okay so for foundation or no concealer and setting powder I am bringing the Maybelline fit me concealer I have 10 light like really I'm so angry at this like, do your job. You have one job to focus, and yet you can't do that. Um, Maybelline Fit Me Concealer 10 Light. I'm bringing that. And I'm also bringing the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores. Um, I use this for an under eye setting powder and then sometimes to set my face, depending on the dewiness of the foundation. It is, I mean, I like it so far. I don't think it's too dry for me or anything. Um, but I want to see what happens. So yeah, all of that came out of that pocket. So I'll show you next, blushes, yeah, blushes. Okay, blushes and bronzers, because there's only one. Um, for the bronzer, I just used the NYC Smooth Skin in Sunny. It's like, I don't know, $2, not even. Um, just because I'm not huge on bronzer. I don't contour. I don't highlight. So I just do it a little bit to warm up my face. Um, so yeah, I use this brush. It's an e.l.f. brush. It was really cheap. It's probably not the best. Blushes. Um, this has been my favorite recently. The Becca blush in Sweet Pea, the Mineral Blush in Sweet Pea. It's the one I am almost always wearing on Saturdays in my videos. Oh my God, it's broken. Oh, that's right. I'm very concerned about traveling with this. That's right. Oh my God, I forgot. Oh no. Oh no. We're going to have to see what to do about that. I'm not sure. Crap. I'm going to have to press it down or something. Um, then I'm bringing MAC. MAC, what the heck, in Prism. It's just really um, subdued. It looks really nice. It's just not like in-your-face blush, which is what I sometimes prefer. Then I have the CoverGirl True Blend in Medium. I really like this blush a lot. It's fairly new, so love that one. And also this one's new, the Wet n Wild Color Icon in Rose Champagne. It has a little bit of a shimmer, which is probably too much for me. <laughs> I don't like to highlight at all, zero. So, um, but it's still really nice and it's fairly new, so I wanna just use it while I'm in Florida. And then these are the two blush brushes I use. This one makes me like uncomfortable. It is the Real Techniques um, blush brush. And I just feel like it's so big that how can you tell where you're getting stuff? Like, I don't know. It just, I'm trying to give another shot. And then this one, I don't know what this is. I got it in a beauty box a while ago. It doesn't have a name on it. I have no idea. Sorry. Oh, 
For foundation, I just use a Real Techniques um, blending sponge. I do not use a beauty blender. I use a Real Techniques. You can get them at Ulta in two packs for like 10 bucks or a single I think is like six. Okay, to finish up. One, I forgot to show you. Where is it? Uh-oh. This thing. This is my MAC Paint Pot. This is what I prime my eyes with. I use, whoop, um, Painterly. It lasts forever. They're like 20 bucks, but literally I've had this for over a year. And it's not even close to being halfway done. Then I um, put this all over my eyelids just to put down a base so that the shadows I put on top of it do not stick. This is by Wet n Wild. It is just, I mean like what, I think this is like 75 cents or a dollar or something. Um, it's called Creme Brulee, Brulee, Creme Brulee, whatever. Again, I just use it as um, a base color. So those are two things going with me. The palettes I'm going to bring. Oh, this is an It Cosmetics like ginormous face brush that I use to set my face if I do. So that's going in there. The palettes I'm going to bring are the Lorac Pro. How gross does this look right now? Um, I love it. Oops. It's awesome. If you do not have the Lorac Pro palette, you gotta get it. You gotta. You just. You gotta. Um, it's really great, and yeah, just do it. I also love the Lorac Unzipped palette because it has, um, you know, neutrals and golds, but also the rosy tones, which I, those are the two looks I usually do, is rosy tones and goldy neutrals. I am bringing the Revealed 2 palette. I probably don't need to, but I'm going to. Um, because it has more of the rosy tones in it. That's by Coastal Sense. I got that in a beauty box too. And then I'm bringing the CoverGirl True Naked Goldens because it has more gold colors in it. And it has some greens, which I really like. So, four palettes. The mascaras I'm bringing are the... Uh, Too Faced Mascara. Um, then I'm also bringing this, which I picked up at Ulta the other day, or, I don't know, two Saturdays ago, I showed you guys, um, the Essence Lash Princess. I really like this mascara, and it was uh, $4, I don't even know. Um, and then I use this solely for my bottom lashes, the Maybelline Lash Discovery, yeah, Lash Discovery. It's like a super, super tiny wand, it's perfect for lower lashes, and I just thought that I should probably bring something waterproof. In the event, I'm crying at my bridal shower. Okay. Um, another one that I really like, but I don't think I'll bring, maybe I will, is the Benefit Roller Lash. It is really good. Yeah, we'll bring that, just in case. Um, okay, and then eyebrow pencils. The NYX Microbrow is awesome. If you have used the Anastasia or Anastasia Micro, whatever this is called, Brow Wiz, I mean, I feel like they're comparable. So, I'm bringing both. I don't know why, because sometimes... I, I think they're different colors. I don't know. I use the Brunette in the NYX Micro Brow, and the Brow Wiz... Ooh. It's worn out. Oh, Brunette. <laughs> but I think they're different shades. I don't know. I'm just... They take up zero space. I'm bringing them. Um, then the last thing is my little bag of oh, brushes. And I'm not going through all of them, but there's this Real Technique setting brush that I use all the time, this little pink one. Um, it's called the Real Technique setting brush. So I would recommend that for like under eye setting. Um, and then I have like a random mishmash of eye brushes. Like I don't even know. Yeah, I don't even know. So that's <laughs> everything I'm bringing with me in this makeup bag. Ooh, another mascara I really love, and I just got it recently because my Tarte order came in. The Tarte Gifted Mascara. This is bomb. Get it. Okay. That is everything, my darlings. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed that portion. I feel like this video is going to be very, very long unless I pull everything out that I'm going to pack, uh, fold it 
put it in the stacks that I'm gonna fold, like pack it in and then show you what I'm bringing. I'm gonna go do that while my phone charges because my battery's gonna die. Okay, so one thing I'm for sure bringing is this maxi dress because girl can't go wrong with a maxi dress. Guys, this dress is still tight. Still tight down here. It's so cute. Oh, God. <sighs> I love this part. <laughs> Too tight, but I'm bringing it in the miraculous event that I lose 10 pounds before Saturday. Can we talk about how cute this little gingham and sweater combo is it's like yellow it's bright yellow but it doesn't show up on camera really well yay 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 look at the mess that's back there almost done though cute so this is one of those swing tees on and remember i got the white in an extra large and oh <laughs> it is like super big but this is probably how I'd wear it. With some cuff jeans as per usual, and like a long necklace or something. But I don't know. It's very comfortable and real big, like I said. We'll see. Okay, so I've got a lot. Don't mind this thing. It's just an afghan we put on the bed when we're cold. Okay. Right now in my suitcase over there, I have three pairs of jeans. And then I have the four swing tees. Um, we'll look at dresses later. I have those three muscle tank tops, the three uh, doodle bug things, what are they called? Peplums with a cardigan. I need to pull one more cardigan for this one. Um, and then I have this like really open weaved, can you see it, sweater? That will go over this white tank top and then just a random orange top tank, tank top for hanging around the house. Then I have white spaghetti strap tank tops, a polka dot because I have to travel with some polka dots, and then that chambray shirt I got the other day. Y'all, you thought I was kidding about my chambray shirt um, collection. It's, it's no joke. I have a lot. Okay, dresses. This is the one that doesn't fit but i'm bringing it anyway for whatever reason i guess to show my mom in person this is a really cute like tank dress um it's sleeveless but it'll work then there's this cute paisley navy um what is it called like a brindle skirt or a i don't know what kind of skirt it is but it's really cute it's a little bit, i actually bought it when it was too big <laughs> So it's pretty much still too big. And then the black maxi dress I showed you earlier. Um, that's all the, the tops and bottoms. Now let's talk about shoes. Marley's toy. <laughs> okay, so I need a pair of black shoes, so there you go. Um, and then the rest are, yeah. My little tassel shoes. I love my tassel shoes. My fake Jack Rogers. Oh, those are fake Jack Rogers too. My coach loafers that I wear all the time and I love them. These are my new coach loafers I haven't worn yet. So I'm bringing those. They're too big, they're size 10. I really needed a nine and I could not find them anywhere at TJ Maxx. Some white tennis shoes just cause they're, I don't know, simple but fun to throw on with outfits. And then some navy ones. I don't know if I'm gonna bring both. We'll think about that. Then, oh my gosh, I love these. They're my fave. Sorry, this video is the worst, but. Uh, they're my fave little slip on loafer things. They'll be so cute. And then, guys, wedding shoes. These are my wedding shoes. Oh, let's do it over here. Aren't they so pretty? They're just beige. They look almost pink, but I promise they're beige. They're by Nina. And the funny story about these is I bought them at a Dillard's shoe sale. Dillard's is 
a, a department store down in the south. Um, I bought them at a Dillard shoe sale. It has to be seven years ago, six or seven years ago probably, for $20. And they're my wedding shoes. <laughs> I'm really excited about them. Let's see if I can get them on. Guys, this is the worst video. Yeah. See how pretty. I just love them. I had to break them in, but they have a little bit of padding on them because Nina shoes are meant for events, but also like ballroom dancing, I think, and stuff like that. So, wedding shoes. I'll take them out and put them in the dust bag. But that's everything I'm packing, I think. That's my closet. Um, it's a mess. The whole house is a mess. Um, I'm really sorry if this was like the worst video of all time. I've never done a pack with me video and it was kind of all over the place and it's already taken me like an hour and a half to do this and I needed to speed it up. So I'm gonna put all of that in my suitcase. Hope it doesn't weigh more than 50 pounds. I still have, I have a second bag I can bring. Um, that I can check. I might try and put some uh, less potentially breakable items for wedding decor in that bag and pad it up to the max. So um, I also have my plain bag to put together. In my plain bag I'm just gonna put a bunch of magazines my Kindle, find my charging cord for my Kindle. Um, I might put some snacks in there. If I wake up early enough tomorrow, I'll show you guys. I don't know. <sighs> I'm so nervous that this video is going to be forever and it's going to take so long to upload because I have to compress it and all that jazz. Um, so anyway, I'm going to get this packed. Maybe I'll show you more later in another video or something. I don't know, but tomorrow's Florida. Yee! See you later.